Let me ask you a simple question. Wouldn't it be nice if you can make money on autopilot? Have money automatically deposited into your bank account without lifting a finger? Would you leave your job and travel the world? Buy a house of your dreams? A nice car to impress your friends? Or something else? Well, in today's video, you are going to learn exactly this. This video is perfect if you are a beginner interested in starting an online business, want to supplement your income with a side hustle, or want to quit your soulless 9-to-5 job altogether. Here is what we are going to be covering today. Part 1 is finding a profitable niche. Part 2 is picking the right offer or offers. Part 3 is promoting this offer in a very unique and special way. Part 4 is sitting back and watching the money roll in. Plus, as a special bonus, I will be sharing with you 17 invaluable affiliate marketing tips throughout the video that will make you even more money. Let's get into the method. So the first step is picking a profitable niche. It all begins with picking a profitable niche. And for that, we're going to go to a website called Offerworld, which is essentially a catalog of different affiliate and CPA marketing programs that you can go out and promote, different offers. And so if you go into filters, you have different categories, right? And so these are the different niches, essentially. Categories are niches, different categories, different niches. And the niches that you want to start with, there are three main niches that you want to start with that always are in demand, that always will make you a ton of money. And these are health, wealth and relationships. These are kind of the classical three niches, right? So when we're talking about health, you can type health, you have health. When we're talking about wealth, it's a little bit more complex. There's biz up here, there's a couple of other offers here, but typically you wanna start with biz up, there's obviously betting, but I would recommend starting with biz up. And then there's self-help or relationships. And for that, you can go in there and you can look in self-help, so you can, so you can go into dating, there's a couple of other categories as well, but typically dating is the main one. Now in this video, we are going to be focusing on the health niche. Health niche is a multi-trillion dollar niche, there's always ways to make money with the health niche. So we're going to type health and we're going to see different offers. Another thing that I recommend is choosing United States because United States has some of the best traffic in the world. The next step is picking the right offers to promote. So once we figured out what kind of niches we want to work with, we are going to head back to Offerworld and we're going to look at different offers. Now, the kind of offers you're, you want to promote is going to depend on a couple of factors that are unique to you. For instance, maybe you're only working with Max Bounty or you're working with another network. And for that, you really don't have many options. You have to go in here, filter, network, and you have to pick Max Bounty. You can do that. You can pick another offer. So here I have Max Bounty, which is a network that I work with. And I went to another filter and here I have health. And so what I'm looking at is various health offers. Okay, here's the payout, 80 cents, 85 cents, a dollar, 280. We can, we can sort this in ascending order, we can take a look. And so here you kind of have to decide what kind of offer you want to work with. So you guys got to understand a couple of things. First of all, if the offer has a low payout, that means they're not requiring a lot of things. They probably don't need the person to buy anything. They probably don't need a credit card trial. They probably don't need a lot of information from the user, maybe just their email or a couple of other small things. If the payout is getting higher, right? So let's say we go somewhere here, somewhere in the middle, and the payout is 50. 48, 45, that means they probably need the user to buy something, right? They're not gonna give you 40 bucks just for the user's emails. The email is never worth that much. They probably need something for the user to, to buy something in order to make, that, make the whole thing worthwhile to them. Now we're gonna go to last here and we're seeing offers for 120, uh, 118, 115, and this is with high certainty, they need the person to buy something, and it's probably gonna cost them a pretty penny, or they're signing up for some kind of trial, 
where it's going to be a billing, a recurring billing situation. So now that you understand the dynamic here, you have to ask yourself, do I want to promote, you know, this specific offer where they need to buy something expensive or do I want to start with something small where I'm just going to get, you know, a dollar, four dollars, three twenty, three dollars, some, you know, even 80 cents for something that might be just an email or answer a couple of questions or something really small. Because when you decide what kind of offers to promote, you're gonna be looking at payout and that's gonna determine uh, what kind of people you're gonna be reaching at. Now I have many videos on my channel of ways of promoting offers that require, you know, offers, low paying offers, the so-called low, low paying offers. And I also have a lot of videos with the so-called high paying offers. So you have to look at those videos. But briefly, it really depends on the quality of traffic. The higher the quality of traffic, the more qualified the traffic and the more that traffic is willing to pay for various products, right? So the lower quality of traffic, and these are essentially people that are kind of like window shoppers. They're not 100% sure they wanna buy something. Maybe they don't even have access to a credit card. Maybe they never wanted to purchase something in the first place. They're just kind of browsing around. These are gonna be people right here, right? They're willing to submit their email, but not they're not exactly willing to buy anything. Now in the next step, I'm gonna show you a very, very unique way to promote these various offers that we just talked about. So make sure you pay very, very careful attention to the next couple of things I'm gonna be talking about because that's gonna make or break your campaign. So now that you determine what kind of offer you wanna promote, you wanna find some free content, but not just any free content, you wanna find very, very specific content. And so if we go back to Offerworld, let's say you're promoting health benefits, weight loss, SOI. SOI stands for single opt-in. They're just looking for that email opt-in just once. They don't have to confirm it or anything like that. This offer pays a dollar. What you guys wanna do is you wanna go back to Bing or Google and you wanna type a query that's about the specific niche, that's about the offer. So for instance, this is a health offer. So I'm gonna go back here and type top 25 ways to stay fit. And I'm looking for a list. So let's open this list right here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm looking at this for the first time and this looks really nice. I am looking for a list like this. This looks perfect. And what I wanna do guys, is I wanna go into Google Spreadsheet and I wanna create a brand new spreadsheet. I'm gonna have a tab here and I'm gonna have a name. I'm gonna call this Health Campaign, whatever you wanna call it here, and I'm gonna call this Tips, okay? Now that I have this open, I'm gonna go back to the screen right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this very, very amazing plugin called Scrape Similar. And this is an incredible, incredible plugin that's gonna make it a lot easier for me to go out and promote this campaign, okay? So I already have this plugin installed. You can just Google for it. It's just Scrape Similar. You can just type something like this and you're gonna see this extension right here. You're gonna click on this and you're gonna download, install it for your Chrome browser. Once you have that, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go in here and you wanna highlight and you wanna right click and you wanna click on Scrape Similar. And, and what's that gonna do? It's gonna pull up all of these tips. Now remember it says, what is the title? The title is How to Stay Fit, 25 Tips and Tricks. And this is exactly what we got. We got 25 tips and tricks. I'm gonna hit copy, I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna paste. Once I paste it, even, you know, paste this text, we're just gonna delete this first row, right click, delete, and now we have all the tips. Once we paste this here, I'm gonna rename this first row to name. This is the name of the tip. I'm gonna have this. The next thing I wanna do, guys, is I wanna capture this paragraph here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say scrape similar, and now it gives me 25 kind of descriptions. So I'm gonna copy all that, and I'm gonna paste it back here. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna paste it, okay? So I'm gonna rename this column description. Okay, now it has, you know, it has also the tips here, but that's fine, you can delete it, you can leave it. And the other thing I guys I recommend very, very highly is you do not wanna copy and paste from somewhere else. You do not wanna plagiarize. It's a very bad practice and really it's just gonna do a lot more harm than good. What you guys wanna do is you wanna put this into your own words. So for instance, these are fairly generic. Uh, you can kinda change them around, but these are, this is their stuff. You gotta rename it, you gotta make, make it something else. 
Once you have that, what you guys want to do is you want to create a new sheet and you want to call this offers, okay? Because we have the free tips. We're going to be giving them free tips, but we're also going to be promoting various offers. Now, what you guys want to do is you can go to your Max Bounty account or whichever, you know, CPA marketing platform you work with and you want to get a list of offers you want to promote. Now, you can promote one offer. You can promote multiple offers. It really depends. So, for instance, let's say I want to promote this offer right here or let's say um, I want to promote health benefits weight loss, $1, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the link for this offer and I'm going to copy this link. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say, this is my offer right here. This is the name of the offer. I'm going to say name, description, and the URL. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in here. And the name of the offer is whatever, health offer. I'm just going to call it, you know, this is going to be the name of the offer here. Description is, this is, uh, this is an offer for losing weight. Weight and staying healthy something like this and this is the url you're going to have this max bounty link on whichever network you're working with so i'm just going to put google for now that's all i'm going to put i'm going to go back here i'm going to make this bold so that it's very easily viewable okay bold bold and that's it this part is done now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a website called adalo.com a-d-a-l-o and you can create an amazing app that essentially takes the data that we created just now and converts it into an app that people can install on their iOS or Android devices. We're going to sign up for a free account. I already have a free account, so I'm just going to log in into my free account. And once I log in, it's asking me what kind of app do I want to make. I'm going to create a native mobile app. So this is very, very crucial that you follow along and you pay extra attention to what I'm about to do here. This is one of the most important parts of the video. And you definitely do not want to skip over. We're going to hit here. We're going to hit next. We're going to do blank. Hit next. And we're going to call this health tips pro or something whatever you want to do we're going to hit create and now we have basic screens here now it's giving us a sign up and a login screen i'm just going to delete that because this is advanced stuff it's not important what we want to do guys is we want to create the simple app so the first screen is going to be a list i'm going to go in here i'm going to add a list i'm going to add a component i'm going to drag and drop the simple list right here right and this is going to be a list of tips now the trick here is that we're not going to be promoting the offers first we are going to be giving them the tips this app is about tips so i'm going to rename this home we're going to go to title click on this right here and i'm going to rename this weight loss or health tips health tips okay it says health tips here we're going to have the name of the tip and the subtitle you can have more information you can have an image you can do all that but before we can do that, what we need to do, guys, we're going to go into tips, this tab right here, and we're going to go into file and we're going to say download as CSV right here. We're going to do that. It's going to download. It just did. We're going to go to the second tab offers. We're going to say download as CSV. And now it downloaded the second tab. We're going to go back into the app. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to database and we're going to say add collection. And the collection is going to be tips. We're going to have two collections and then we're going to say another collection. Now, before we import this data, we want to create another property. Remember, we have name and description. So what we want to do is we want to create a new field description. OK, now we have name and description, just like what we have here. We go back to tips. We have name and description. And for the offers, we want to have name. And then what was the name of that field here? Offers name description url so we're going to go in here we're going to add a property called a text which is going to be description we're going to hit say we're going to add another property this is going to be also text and this is going to be url okay now once we once we finish this we're going to hit on records for tips and we're going to say import csv okay once we drag and drop it tells us that the columns match we're going to say import data Data has been imported successfully, and now we see all the tips here nicely imported. We're going to do the same thing for offers. Click on the zero records, import. There you go. It matched it perfectly. Going to say import data, and that one offer has been imported. Now we're done here. The next thing, guys, we want to do is we want to go in here, 
and we want to select the list right here and what we want to do is we want to match things right what is this a list of we're going to say a list of tips and what we want to do is we want to go into title and we want to make sure this is tip name subtitle uh you can have description or you can you can just leave it blank it's really really up to you what i recommend is because this is the description is going to be very long is you leave it blank so what we're going to do is we're going to go into subtitle we're going to disable it now now we just have the tip name and th th this is what essentially is going to be it's going to be a list of tips now the next thing guys we want to do is we want to create another screen right here we're going to hit the plus button add a screen and we're going to create another screen and this is going to be an info screen we're going to drag and drop this right here we're going to call this detail okay create screen and now we have this new screen right here and we're going to create a link to the screen so this is going to be health tip we're going to say health detail and actually instead of health tip we're going to have the name of the tip so first before we do that we need to create a link here so we're going to click on this list we're going to add an action we're going to say link to the detail and we're going to pass the current tip which is exactly what we want and then we're going to go back here and we're going to hit title and we're going to say this is going to be add magic text current tip name that way the name of the tip is going to be described here we have an image we're not going to have any images you can have images if you want but i'm going to click on the description i'm going to say add magic text current tip description all of this is now going to be description i'm going to remove all that so that only description is showing up and then this button is going to be learn more where they can click and they can learn more about us so we're going to say learn more and we're going to delete this ad and we're going to add an action that's going to be a link to a website and the website is going to be current tip and for the learn more we're going to do tip offer that means it's going to be linked to the offer so when they click on it it's going to go to the offer we have created in our google sheets and so the app is pretty much done we can hit preview and we can take a look what's happening so once we preview it we're going to see the different tips now as you can see it's sorted in descending order we can change all that so let's say i click on the first offer here we have focus we have the name of the offer and if we click on learn more it's redirecting to google which is what we have defined let's say i go back and i hit the second offer and i say learn more it's going to redirect to google again which is kind of what we we have defined so what we can do is we can do different sorting we can say uh let's say name a to z, uh we're gonna say name a to z we're gonna preview that let's see what it looks like and so there you have it now it's perfectly sorted in ascending order from one to 25 so you can click on it you can read this you can add an image as well you can hit learn more and you are redirected to the offer that we have defined in google sheets now right now all of these are all the same offers right if we go back to tips we go back to offers we have just one offer so it's just going to be one offer here but what you guys can do is you can create multiple offers and that way you're going to have a different offer for each tip and the other thing that's really really nice is you, you can have images right so for instance you can go back to your database you can say add property and you can say image okay this is going to be an image here i'm just going to call it image save so we can go back to our records and now you have another field so let's say i go to one I go here I can choose a new image so let's say I go to pixels.com and I want to find some kind of a health offer I'm going to type health and let's say I really like uh this image right here I'm just going to hit download I'm going to go back here and I'm going to upload this image here all right so now I have this image right here I'm going to hit save and now I have this image right here so if I hit done and I preview this app I should have an image now once we upload the image we need to do a couple of more things we need to click here and this image is we need to scroll down this left section this is an image well it's going to say avatar we're going to say image and we're going to select an image right here and that way it's going to get displayed for the offers that for the health tips where we have images and then we can go back here and this is the image source is going to say current tip image so now if we preview this we should have an image right here going here we have this beautiful image we have this thing here and we can say learn more we can click on that and it's going to redirect to google you can do so many great things maybe we should kind of yeah let's drag it up i think that that's going to look better if you go in here now it says learn more it's all perfectly aligned and i recommend creating more images because i have to admit that it looks a lot better when we have an image here 
and you guys can take it as far as you want you can create this you can make a very very sophisticated app and you can do a lot of things now no. the next step is that once you're done building this app what you guys want to do is you want to hit on click on share and now you're going to have this app here health tips pro by james james hustle's team you can share the app you can scan to install it you can do a lot of things here it's a it's a working app they can start using this app from this website they can scan to install it. they can install it on their ios device they can install it on their android device you could send the link via sms you can copy the link here just copy it and now I have a website essentially with my app on it that I can go out and promote it. The next step after you have created this app, you have published it, it's all available is to go out and promote it. And let me show you exactly how you can promote it. So here I'm in Bing. We're going to be looking at different ways of promoting this app. So for instance, if I type weight loss forums, I'm going to have a lot of forums here. We're going to have a lot of communities. I can open all of that up. I can do that. The other thing that I can do is I can type weight loss communities. Okay, we have a lot of weight loss. We can go to Quora. Here's Quora. We can also search Twitter, right? We can say site.twitter.com, weight loss communities on Twitter, or we can say weight loss on Twitter. When we're, and you're gonna see a lot of these results, get fit, you're gonna see hashtags, you're gonna see all of these things. You can go on, you can essentially go on Twitter and you can search there as well. So you can go on Twitter and you can type something like weight loss here. And you have a lot of these weight loss, you have a lot of these weight loss ideas and you can engage with these people. The internet is made up of a lot of communities, of a lot of groups of people with similar interests. And so your job is to go out and find these places. I also want to give you a little bit of a life hack. This is extremely, extremely crucial. Do not go out and promote these offers here. What you want to do is you want to promote the app that you created because the offers are going to be promoted from inside the app. Never go out and promote these offers directly you want to go out and you want to promote the app that is really the secret here that is really really the key because once they start using the app they're going to get a lot of value they're going to get a lot of important information and then they can click and they can go to the specific offer if they want to learn more all right guys so that is the method i wanted to share with you guys today i really really hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what you think about this method smash a like button if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video